So I am going to have to start here and apologise folks. Some of our footage has no sound because the little button on the camera that mutes was muted. So this is a room tour we did on the last day. Isaac did actually and he narrated but there's no sound which is a bummer. See how depressed I look? I was going home. So here we go, the room in French Quarter, two massive queen size beds which were super comfy, look at our cases in the corner. Uh, lovely comfy beds. I don't know what Isaac was saying, but yes, they were very comfy. Decor was very non kitty like but okay, I suppose. The fridge was in here. I don't know why Isaac isn't opening it to show you. He is. Here we go. We had a little fridge in here. What more can you say about a fridge? It's a fridge. Through from the room into our bedroom. We've got a little seat there, which is good for keeping shoes in that under. We had a massive mirror and double sink, which was awesome. And we utilised that to hang all our bits and bobs and a safe to keep all your important bits in, which I used every day for passports and like extra money and stuff. Um, and then off the double sink, you have a nice little bathroom. There's all our used towels, plenty of toiletry stuff on the wall and a very non-offensive shower curtain. Everything's really tastefully designed, by the way. Um, Fan. The aircon was awesome in these rooms. You could have it as warm or as cold as you wanted it. Phone for phone and wherever. Reception. Plenty of outlets. There were USB outlets in quite a few places. Those drawers were massive. Nice big telly. Um, coffee making facility. No kettle if you want tea though. We actually brought a disposable kettle with us. That is the unit for aircon. I'm just trying to voice over this, guys, wondering what on earth he's going to fill them next. Under those beds, I will say, is great for your cases for storage to put them out of the way. View out the window looks perfectly nice. We're not overlooking the pool or anything fancy, but it was fine. So I'll just end the little look at the room by saying we were very happy. Beds were very comfy. Nice temperature, warm or cold. Plenty of room under the beds for storage. Um, really, really good bathroom. Awesome that there was double sinks and a massive mirror. Um, it's a small resort also, so that's awesome because you never have to walk that far to reach anywhere. Goodness only knows what my son was saying, but um, yeah, big thumbs up from us for French Quarter. And if we could afford to stay there again, we probably would. So let's think about having a look around the resort. So folks, any of you thinking about staying in Port Orleans French Quarter, just to give you an idea of how far we are from the main reception, where you the shop is, where you eat, we were actually initially put in one of the furthest away blocks. And I found this footage that my husband took of the walk from our little block all the way around to reception. I won't play at normal speed. I will speed it up for you just so you can have an idea, but we will say it takes about three to four minutes to walk from the furthest away block to reception, so happy days. that we were taken by was the birds that were always around where we were staying. There were lots of birds wandering about, I think well, they were ibis, and also um, little like lizards were jumping out from the sides, from the hedges all day long when it was nice and warm. So I give Isaac the camera 
um, he wanted to go for a wander around the hotel, um, the lower floor. So because I didn't think to do this, as I say, I've won all meaning to vlog, but did I vlog? Did I heck? So we're currently in the main dining area. Um, as you can see, it's massive. It's probably four times the size of what you can see. Isaac's walking about with a shaky camera. That's all the different counters there you can see, which serve all different kinds of foods. Outside eating area, outside um, there's a, like a little pub there and to the right, which he's not going into, which serve beignets. Beignets is the nectar of the gods, folks. Here's our little pressed penny machines. I bought a little wallet and collected quite a lot of these, it has to be said. Um, really cute. I've got a couple of Port Orleans ones in my collection, um, along with ones from loads of parks, which I will add to next time I go. Off we go again. You can see this was filmed on the last day and they put up the Christmas decorations the day before we left, which I was so happy about. I, I got to see the Christmas decorations. We left on the 24th of November. So there's the well with all the little pennies in. Um, the doorman gives you coins, coloured coins that you can throw in to make a wish. And he did with Isaac, which was awesome. We're walking through into reception. I apologise for the shaky camera, folks. My eight-year-old at the time filmed this. Look at those beautiful lights all around the place. It is beautiful. He's walking towards the shop. Here we go. It's a smaller shop as compared to sort of the other ones, but it still suffices. Lots of lovely Disney stock there. Isaac not really stopping to look at anything in particular. I do apologise for this footage, but it's probably the only hotel footage we actually took. So we see his Toy Story. a very quick look around our room and our resort. Join us next time for our first trip into the parks. Which one will it be?